Hi there, as you can see from this video, I'll be showing you the best free antivirus software that you can find. And by free, I really mean it. You won't need to spend a penny on this. So let's get right into the video. So here is the landing page of the program. It's called 360 Total Security. And I'll go ahead and download it since I uninstalled it to reinstall it in front of you guys. It says download it. It's downloading, so I'll wait. Meanwhile, I guess I can go ahead and show you the features. All right, so here are the features. It also compares to the 360 Total Security Premium. Uh, as I said, you really don't need to spend your money on this, although it's very cheap. I don't think it's worth it since the free version is more than enough. And I've been using this for a while. It has antivirus and anti-malware, uh, and anti-ransomware. In case you don't know what's ransomware, it's the software that uh, blocks you from getting into your computer and it asks you for a sum of money in order to recover your files. Uh, it has a multiple engine protection, uh, secure online shopping, privacy protection. This can be very important. Uh, webcam protection, Keylogger blocking. What Keylogger does is it steals your platform users, your passwords, your emails. And it can be hidden in uh, Trojans or other malwares. And webcam protection, I, I think that's pretty simple. And internet protection, uh, download file scan, online shopping protection, malicious website blocking. Uh, it has a system protection, USB drive protection, network threat protection, and other types of uh, protections. This thing here can be important because a lot of times uh, I feel like I don't want to manually clean my laptop because it takes a lot of time so this right here pretty much just uh it cleans your junk it cleans your cache files your temp files so you don't have to go and do it uh, manually uh it has a speed up feature uh this can be very helpful for people that are does a lot of recording use heavy softwares or play games such as myself so i do all of that and it really boosts the performance of my computer all right I can see that it's finished uh, downloading. Uh, so make sure that you uncheck the install safe and fast Oprah if you don't want Oprah. I obviously don't need it, so I'll go and uncheck that. For the language, you'll find it on the top right corner of the program. I'll keep English since that's my preferred language. And I'll go ahead and install it. All right, so it's there's this pop-up. You want to click continue. Close this. And there it is. You don't need to create an account, so just close this. And yeah, so before we go into the program, I'll I want to just show you something. Uh, I want to show you the size of the program. So uh, here it is. It's literally just 100 megabytes, so the size is very small, unlike some other antivirus softwares. Um, as for the uh, as for the startup impact, as you can see here, it's low. There are a lot of programs when you start up your computer so over time your pc becomes slow or laptop becomes slow so this is a good thing uh and when you go when we go to processes and barely using any memory and cpu going back to the program it's pretty self-explanatory you have a full check you have a virus check a speed up and clean up uh these two features we've seen them in on the list there is a toolbox in this toolbox you can find uh, premium and uh, and uh, free uh, features to use. Uh, so obviously, you wouldn't want to bother with premium if you don't have it. And as I said, from experience, you really don't need it. You have a game booster, which can boost the the uh, performance of your games. If if let's say you don't have a software that does that. And here, I want you, I want to show you that it's pretty much you can easily close it. It's not like some of the other antivirus uh, programs where they're annoying to close or stop and here you can deactivate it and it asks you if you want to close it just for a time or permanently this can be useful when you're in need you like downloaded a program and you know it's safe but it's telling you like there is a trojan or something uh so yeah you can close it here and download your program and reactivate uh, it through here so i'll go ahead and just reactivate it enable and some of the other stuff I want to show you is what you need to do now is go to the switch protection mode click on this and this is pretty important you want to go to the keep, stay on the balanced one and just enable this why because it has more protection to your computer so you want to click apply enable it'll install a engine antivirus engine let it do its thing all right quit all right 
so yeah, as I was saying, going back to the switch protection mode, you want to use balanced if you're just doing the regular browsing stuff or you're just playing games and stuff. Security, I'd recommend security if you are working because it has some extra uh, layer for protection. And you can also customize your protection mode. Like you can disable some of the features if you're not in need of them or uh, you could uh, just rely on the balanced one. That's about it. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and leaving a comment down below. I'll see you in the next one.